everyone. Uh, got something uh, on the bench. On the bench. On the bench. Um, it's a project for my friend, uh, my friend Sandon. Um, he was given this wonderful uh, HH Scott 299B that uh, supposedly had never been used, like period, as in never fired up once. The amount of uh, the difference in the transconductance reading is on some on the tubes makes you believe that this may not be true, though low uh, low mileage use absolutely. So I had to go through and do a few repairs. Um, I'll show you the first one. Um, see the heat shrink on the dropping resistor. That dropping resistor was bad, so I had to replace that with this guy over here. Wired him in, made sure all the leads were nice and tidy and unable to arc to any other adja close adjacent wires. Um, if I had to use wire, I tried to make it uh, a similar gauge to the uh, insulated wire used in, the, in this uh, HH Scott from the factory. And in addition, we um, put in, uh, replaced the coupling capacitors. Those are um, NTE 0.1 microfarad at six, 630 volts. Same goes here. Um, I didn't have. I didn't. I, I actually thought all of these were point ones, but these are actually point uh, four sevens. So I put in point five uh, orange drops at six hundred. So <laughs> I was glad I caught that mistake before I uh, put everything back together. Um, other than that, what I do? I uh, set the bias on it. The uh, the bias was a little bit high. I think only by um, it was at sixty. 60 milliamps brought back down to the factory 55. I uh, cleaned all the potentiometers, tested all the tubes, etc. etc. Did your basic service on this thing. It sounds wonderful. Um, when I get back together, I've really been itching just to put this thing back in its case. So, um, when I get back together, I'll make a video of how it sounds. Um, let me give you a, a view top side. So, just bear with me a second. I'm going to put the camera down. And we'll take a look at the top side of this thing. Hang on. Got to do this carefully, don't want to make a hash of it. Just slowly, 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 gently, 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 gently. And here's the top side. We've got uh, Sylvania 6B, uh, excuse me, 6BQ5, 7189s. Um, uh, and Telefunken ECF 80s. And Telefunk and 12 x 7s and a uh, Heerlen Holland manufacturer, um, 5A or 4. And uh, yeah, those are the original filter caps, I know. They don't hum, they seem okay, and I told my friend just to keep a, a close eye on them. And if, uh, you know, if he fires it up one day and it starts humming, to you know, immediately bring the amp to me, um, just so I could take care of that for him. It's pretty labor intensive, so I didn't want to do it unless I absolutely had to. So... I told him to keep a very close eye on it. Uh, these are the original tubes, I do believe, and this means this, this amp must have been um, produced sometime uh, maybe late 61, because the tubes themselves were made in the 26th, uh, 21st week, excuse me, of 61. So, um, just a guess there. Who knows, it could be replacement tubes, so I really, really doubt it. And here's the front. It's in really nice shape. I mean, it's in really time warp shape. So, I'm just going to put it back in its box. Its box. Its cabinet, excuse me. And um, then we'll, uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll give you a, a showing of how it sounds. So, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. Uh, I have some more projects, and I'll make some more videos for them as well. Hope you enjoyed, and it's kind of neat. A time warp 299B. I mean, really, it's in just wonderful shape. So, um, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon, and, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.